Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Sagittarius for the week ahead. I apologize that this is like one day late, but we're going to do an extra day for you. So we're, well, it's just going to be a different time frame. So it's going to be the 12th through the 17th. What do we have for Sagittarius for the 12th through the 17th? Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is the 12th. 13th. 14th, please, for Sagittarius. 15th. 15th. 16th, please. And the 17th. We got a few cards for the 17th, so we're going to keep those. And an overall energy for the next six days for Sagittarius, please. Ah, Page of Cups. That is beautiful. So the Page of Cups is good news. It really is. This is good news. You may not see it as good news, but it is good news. That is, that could be news of a birth. That could be news, good news arriving from somebody that has a crush on you or that you have a crush on them. This is an admirer, somebody showing their feelings. This is happy news. Follow your heart and trust your gut when you get the page of cups. So this is a, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's probably going to be an emotional week as well. You notice all the all the water. It's going to be very emotional. It's in, in, you may feel flooded with emotion this week. So be prepared for that. But it looks, it, I mean, that is very refreshing. It is refreshing. So let's just see what happens. So we're talking about Tuesday. Tuesday, and I apologize for the noise in the background. They're finishing up my floor today. So this is uh, feeling powerless on Tuesday, no communication, lack of communication, maybe not seeing something clearly, having a hard time getting out of bed. Get prepared though, get prepared because something is arriving. Nothing may be happening at the very moment, but it's coming. It's very, 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 very close. Get prepared. Get prepared for um, some good news to arrive. Tuesday, there may be silence. It may not have be happening yet, you know, or, you know, you may be wondering, you know, when is this going to happen? You may be waiting, you know, waiting, wondering, praying, hoping for the best on Tuesday. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Because right now it's a time of getting prepared. Get, get prepared. Yes, it may be a quiet day or, you know, you may not want to get out of bed or whatnot. Uh, you may be thinking about your future, focusing on your future, wondering what is going to happen, if anybody's going to come in or if this is going to happen or that is going to happen. Something's going to happen. Okay, something is going to happen. Uh, you're waiting for an arrival, hoping and, and praying. Be optimistic. You may not be getting the communication or the word or the information that you're looking for, but it's coming. So it's pr it may be a quiet day on Tuesday where you're, where you're manifesting or you're waiting. You're, it's a day of waiting on Tuesday. So, and prepare. Get prepared. Preparing. Okay, so let's talk about Wednesday. Wednesday, the Page of Pentacles with the Judgment card. They're both upright. This is karma. Judgment is karma. Final decision. You may be getting a, an offer. You may be getting money. Um, an apology even from somebody. This is May. This reading may or may not be for you. You could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Scorpio. Doesn't have to be. But look at how big that is. That is a big pentacle. This is a golden opportunity. It's a real opportunity. It's something genuine. A genuine offer. Um, this is about a new enterprise. Laying down a new foundation. Uh, using your common, te common sense. Stepping into a new path. Stepping into new territory. Broadening your horizons. Doing something you've never done before. Somebody may be... Uh, there could even be a reconciliation here. i got to be honest with that judgment card. This is some sort of truth being revealed. Somebody is being very real with you. This is re reality. So a reality check of some sort on Wednesday. Or getting a real 
I mean, this is a golden opportunity to start fresh. And this could definitely be a reunion or a reconciliation with somebody. It could. Um, but if that's not what, it doesn't have to be. Whatever this is, this is a new opportunity. It's not going to be easy to start over. It's not. With the Page of Pentacles, it's never easy. It's going to entail some hard work. It is. But this is a wake-up call as well. You may get a call in the morning, a regular, like a phone call from somebody who has an offer for you. So on that may, may if you're, that's what you're waiting for, maybe you're going to get it on Wednesday. I'm not saying that this is absolutely going to happen, but you may get a call from somebody that is wanting to give you an opportunity. Um, whether you take it or not is going to be up to you. Now, this opportunity isn't going to be easy. Okay, the follow through is not going to be easy, but if you do follow through with it, it could help you to go through a spiritual awakening. It could help you um, in some sort of area of your life that brings you stability and long term stability. Okay, could be a job offer. I don't know what it is. Something is coming on Wednesday that you have been waiting for. Okay, you don't get it on Tuesday. Something is coming on Wednesday. Remember, the timing is fluid. The timing is fluid. But this is the judgment card. And the judgment is, are you ready to be judged? Somebody may be judging you. They may be judging you. They may be asking you a lot of questions. Okay, be prepared for that. I mean, this could be like an interview kind of thing. It could be. It doesn't have to be. But this is a life-changing decision that you are going to have to make in the near future. Whether it is on this Wednesday or it's Thursday or Friday or whatever day it is be prepared to be making a life-changing decision that is going to expect you to follow through with it in the very near future okay this is something that it's yeah, start you start at the bottom but you work your way up and it will bring you in the end it could uh, make you very very happy put it that way it's abundant abundant um, could be forgiveness. Somebody may be asking for forgiveness. Or you may be asking for forgiveness. These can always go vice versa. That is Wednesday. Thursday. Temperance reversed and the Five of Swords reversed. Now the temperance reversed is not in the flow. Being impatient. Being pushy. Not wanting to wait. Not wanting to change. Not learning from the past. Repeating, repeating the same mistakes over and over and over again. Uh, not wanting to accept. You may not be, be, you may get this offer on Wednesday and by Thursday be like, you know what? No, that's not who I am. That's not how I do things. I'm not doing it. Well, then maybe whoever you're dealing with walks away. Some, this is temperance is about evolution and going with the flow. And on Thursday, we have somebody here that is refusing to accept change and refusing to go with the flow. And this could bring a lot of frustrations. Now, do you want to be right or do you want to be happy? Because that is the question of the day. Do you want balance? Do you want harmony? Do you want peace? Do you want stability? Or do you want to be right? And do you want to have everything your way? Because that is going to be the question of the day on Thursday. People may walk away if you are not balanced, if you are not grounded, if you are unwilling to budge. If you are unwilling to change, if you are unwilling to try new things, if you are unwilling to compromise, then you will probably push somebody away. So on Thursday, you will, it will be, you know, you get this offer on Wednesday. And you think about it all night long. On Thursday, you're like, nope, nope, it's this way, it has to be done my way. You could get left behind. I'm just saying, if you don't, if you are unwilling to budge with that Five of Swords reversed next to that Temperance card, if you are unwilling to compromise, then you may not be chosen for whatever this is. There's power struggles here. 
wanting to prove yourself and wanting it your way. You have to let go of your ego and make some compromises. And you have to follow through. So let's talk about the next day. Let's talk about Friday. What are we talking? Is this Friday? Yeah. Friday the 15th. Ending. Painful ending. Breakdown. Giving up. Death of a situation. It's over. It's over. Didn't think about it clearly. Somebody may be getting rejected. They get an offer, but they refuse to compromise. And, they're ref and, because, and they get frustrated. So they get the offer. They refuse to compromise. And then it's over. So this is, the, this is an ending. Didn't think about it. Didn't take a time to really think about it. Made an impulsive decision by the looks of things. So somebody could have an upset on Friday because they didn't get the offer because they were unwilling to budge. So they find out on Friday that they lost or, you know, they didn't, they chose some, but they were rejected. They were rejected. Now, Friday could be an antisocial day where you're feeling down. You may be feeling down the dumps. You really can't get up. You don't have any energy. You don't have any desire. You really need to take a time out and think about your next move. Think about where you want to go in life, what you want to do, who you are now, and where, where you've come from. It's time to go within and re-identify. So I think on on Friday there's going I think what's happening is before Friday so you get an offer and you know you don't like the offer and you may try to negotiate or whatever and when you don't get your way shit goes downhill fast and I'm just being honest with you. And I feel like, you know, it ends uh, this is like a catastrophe, okay? It is. It ends and puts you in a state of, I mean, you may feel like you're in a midlife crisis or um, you're alone, you're all alone, you're in exile, but you know, you need, you need to really go within and take a time out. You need to take a time to pick yourself up from whatever this is. You need to take a time to... Uh, you know, I just happened to notice the owl that just struck struck me owl is a symbol of profound change and this is a card of death it really is ten of swords is a card of death okay it is it's a card of death so it is so we are we having somebody here that needs to let go of their old ways this is a time of transformation it's a time of change to become consciously aware of who you are so I feel like on Friday, you are going to need to go within. You may have been neglecting to do so. But I think there's an incident that happens before this day that may uh, force you to change. An owl is a symbol of death. With Death is profound change. Something's going to happen because you are unwilling to budge. And you're going to lose out on some sort of job or money. And, you know, you can always change these readings based on, you know, what you hear. But you could lose out on a golden opportunity if you are unwilling to accept acceptance, change. Accept and compromise. And I think that we have somebody here that is unwilling to compromise. And because of their unwilling to compromise, it's going to end badly. And then somebody's going to feel cast out. They're going to feel alone, um, you know, angry perhaps. You know, uh, why, 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 why is this ha it's happening? Because you're unwilling to work together. You're unwilling to compromise. So I'm just, Thursday is probably going to be a day of feeling very alone and, and stabbed. And stabbed in the back and angry, maybe angry at the world. Um, you may be unaware that this has all happened because you're refusing to change. Sorry. Over to here. Saturday. 
Seven of Wands reversed with the moon. Seven of Wands reversed. This is a fall from power. This is a setback. This is admitting defeat, feeling powerless, worn down, overwhelmed, quitting. I quit. No fight left, no desire. Uh, you may be feeding yourself with some addictions. You could be. I'm not saying everybody is. This is, this is this is addictions, this is illusion, this is fantasy, this is self-medicating. Somebody may be self-medicating on, uh, what is it, Saturday because, you know, it's easy, it's quit. I quit, I'm stepping down, I've been defeated, weak. So there could be some addictions that are coming into the picture on, um... Burying, it's like burying the emotions to bury the emotions on Saturday. All is not as it seems. You need to be careful. You need to be very, very careful on Saturday. There are hidden forces here. You need to proceed with caution. When you get the moon card, there is some sort of illusion. Okay, there's a difficult pet. There's a difficult path ahead of you. There is. There's a difficult path ahead of you if you can't. If you keep pushing people away, you know, this is a difficult path ahead. It's unclear. And, but this isn't wanting to fight, 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 fight. You need to let go of your, your need to fight. Anyhow, Saturday, I feel like you may feel like everybody is against you. The whole world is against you. And uh, I think this is all happening because you got this offer that you wanted You wanted something else. You know, it was a good offer, but you didn't think it was good enough. Anyhow, um, there are hidden forces here. All is not as it seems. You may not be seeing something clearly. Perhaps you need to let your guard down. Stop pointing the finger at everybody else. Take ownership. You can't bury your emotions with drugs or alcohol or whatever. You have to deal with them. I'm not sure that everybody is doing that, but it feels like we have some addictions here. Invest, invest. Is it? Is this worth it? Is it worth doing what you've always been doing? Is it? Is it worth it? Is it time to go someplace else? Is it time to do something some someplace else? Is it time to relocate? So I think that you, I think that on uh, Saturday, you are going to be thinking about planting your seeds someplace else. You are going to be... Uh, There's a level of confusion here. I think you're, this is going to be a day of thought on Saturday. There's a, there's a level of anger, wanting to fight, dealing with opposition. Is it worth it? Should I? What? Wh why am I doing this? Is there any growth here? What should I do? You know, I think that you are are going to be rethinking a situation that perhaps you weren't thinking clearly about in the first place so I think Saturday there's probably going to be um, thoughts of where you should go next what you should do next if, there, if there's even any reason to stay where you're at There's no more growth here, and I, there's no more opportunity here, and I think that's what you're going to be thinking about. It's you know, there's nothing left here. I might as well give up, face my fears, and step into unknown territory. Do something else. Sunday. Sunday, we got a lot. Wheel of Fortune. That's positive. Six of Wands reversed. Now that is a battle. Still fighting. <sighs> because it comes up to the Five of Wands. That's the fight. That's the competition. That's the conflict. Okay. 
So on Sunday, that is still in the competition, still in the fight, still fighting, still fighting the war. Still in the war zone, still battling. So you're still battling on Sunday. But this is teamwork, working together, making some compromises. So by sun, that's what I mean, thinking about what should I do on Saturday. Stepping outside of fear, perhaps. Stepping outside of illusion. Maybe you're going to see something more clearly. Let's hope that's what it is on Saturday. Because on Sunday, this is working together. This is compromising. But really struggling to do that. Okay? Struggling to compromise. But compromising. Changing. Remember, I said, you can change this. And I don't usually say that with my readings. But we all know it's true. This is the Wheel of Fortune. That has changed. That's where you take the, you take the step. You know, this is your free will where you decide to change the direction, okay? So this is changing directions, uh, being positive, okay? Setting the wheels in motion by compromising. This is opening up, seeing the truth, expressing the truth, um, letting go of your fears. And it, this is like something happening suddenly as well. It's coming out of denial, taking ownership as well, seeing the truth, So I feel, like, and then it's like not, and then the death card reversed is holding on, holding on to this, maybe by the skin, by the skin of the teeth, you know, not letting it go. You, somebody was held back by something, indecision, delays. Sunday. We have a change in direction. We do, with that Wheel of Fortune. Now this could be a fortunate accident, because a death card can be an accident. Perhaps this all happened for a reason. Maybe you have a better opportunity that is coming in. This holding on is getting old. Seeing the truth. Going in a new direction. Working with somebody else. But this is still battling the Six of Wands reverse. This is a setback. All show. No staying power. So on Sunday, this is like leaving. It is. It's leaving this whole situation and going someplace else. So by Sunday, I feel as though... Okay, Saturday, you're thinking about, should I, should I keep trying for this or should I let it go? And I think by Sunday, you decide to let it go and go someplace else. Holding on to this is not healthy. It's, it's a disaster waiting to happen. It's seeing it for what it is. It's opening up, changing your direction, working with somebody else, deciding that you want to work with somebody else. So I feel like this, but this page of cups is, is, is good news. Okay, so everything happens for a reason. You are going to be getting an offer. Okay, you're going to be getting an offer. This is somebody, you're going to be getting an offer from somebody that I think this person wants to work with you or something. But I feel like you could end up having the offer taken off the table because of your unwillingness to compromise. I got to be honest with you. It could end um, without the offer being accepted or... Yeah, accepted by, by either party. And somebody just decides to go in a new direction. Good luck.